children, this might be my very most favorite Bible passage of all. It's something that Jesus said. In fact, it is the thing that Jesus said is the most important thing for us to remember to do. You ready? Let's watch. While Jesus was teaching at the temple, the Pharisees were also there, waiting for him to make a mistake. When they heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Sometimes the second part of that is called the golden rule, and often it's said this way. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And how do you want to be treated? With kindness, with gentleness, with respect. When you mess up, do you want to be forgiven for it and still seen as good and lovable? Yeah, me too. When you feel lonely, do you want a friend? Me too. When you feel afraid, do you want someone to help you feel safe again? Me too. You know what all of this is? This is love. This is how we can treat each other with love. And this is the way that Jesus has taught us to treat each and every single person that we meet. There's a woman who lived this way, the way that Jesus taught us to live, and she spent her whole life loving God and loving her neighbor as herself. Her name is Mother Teresa of Calcutta. After a lifetime of practicing this love, she said that she believed that since Jesus no longer lives on earth with us, we must be the body of Christ. That is now our job to do to do the loving and the good work of taking care of each other. She believed the spirit of Christ is ready to be lived out in the world through the love and care that we give to one another. There's a good man who does this too, who lives like Jesus taught us to live. His name is Father Gregory Boyle. He spends his whole life loving God and loving his neighbor as himself. Father Boyle reminds us that God loves each and every one of us so so much and in the end might only really want one thing from us and that's for us to treat each other kindly and to see each other as brothers and sisters. God loves us and just wants us to love each other. <laughs> that's it. So what shall we do? Love. Who shall we love? God. How shall we love God? by loving everybody. That's how. Happy Sunday, everybody. Bye.